Uh, your next comedian is also great. Uh, he comes from Nashville, Tennessee. Please make a lot of noise for Corey Perry. <laughs> That's my favorite song, so I'm here to have some fun. Guys, I'm not the typical black person. I can't drink Hennessy. <laughs> can't, can't do it. Uh, I went to visit my father a few weekends ago, and he was like, son, let's listen to some Al Green and drink some Hennessy, and let's catch up. I was like, all right, cool. I can do that. So me and my old man, we should drink this whole fifth of Hennessy, right? We get loose, we get to cutting up, having a good time, right? I wake up with a hangover, he wakes up making breakfast, right? <laughs> right, it's, he embarrassed me in front of my, the whole rest of my family, man. He was like, uh, my mom was like, he's all right, he's all right, he's, just, he's a sensitive, he's a sensitive. My dad was like, nah, he do too much white people shit. <laughs> I'm like, dad, we just going to brunch, I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> I don't see what the problem is, right? He doesn't know the magic of like mimosas and crepes. You know what I mean? My dad never had the option to get drunk in the beginning of a day and say, fuck the rest of the day. You know what I mean? I love day drinking. Any day drinkers here in the house? This is my favorite motherfucking holiday. I love day drinking with white women though. Cause y'all just fun. <laughs> Y'all just fun. I, I, I would stay drinking with one of my white girlfriends and uh, she had this shit called Prosecco. <laughs> I ain't have Italian wine apparently, right? When your boy got loose, right? Kick my shoes off, start to do things mischievously. You know? I was using the word bitch in an unironic way, so. Well, some of people shit I can't get with, man. I can't. I went kayaking in the summer. First time in my life, 30 years on this planet, went kayak for the first time. <sighs> it's an arduous journey. Like before, my friends was like, hey, Corey, man, we'll just go two miles down the river, man. It's gonna be beautiful, right? The river ain't gonna be too high, so you ain't gonna worry about, you know, not swimming, you know? And I was like, I appreciate your concern. I appreciate your concern. You've convinced me, I'm going on this trip, right? Like, my health is the most important thing to me. Right, so we go to where we get the kayaks, we rent them, right? And we get dropped off and we're shoving off, as we say, as they say, right? And I'm the last one to go because I'm nervous about being seen getting into a kayak for the first time because it's uncomfortable. Right, so I get into the kayak and everybody's already shoved off and my shorts explode. <laughs> oh, my balls is hanging out. It was a day I'll never forget. It was like Undercover Brother got re-released in theaters. And the water was cold, so, so it was to mixed reviews. I can't do it! Can't do it! I was thoroughly embarrassed. My friend, I was, I was embarrassed, but I kept it real chill. My friends were like, Corey, you too. Easy going sometimes, man. I never see you get upset. Is there anything that you don't like? And I was like, I thought about it. <laughs> then I made a list of things I don't like. I want to <laughs> see it. It's going to Man, let's go. Um, number one on this list is run out of toilet paper. <laughs> You ever like have to if you walk with the crap on you? You kick on your booty, how you just like, oh my god, you want to flip it? Where are the paper towels? I'm out of time. <laughs> Y'all know I use paper towels over here, guys. Ball guys with vices. <laughs> just that visual alone makes me upset. <laughs> People who pee with their hands on their hips. <laughs> they always at the bar, they always want to talk to you. Like, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy, what's going on? I'm like, hey man, if you're gonna talk to me while taking a piss, I need you to keep your hands on your dick. I would appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, uh, 
my pull-out game. I don't like it. I don't like my pull-out game. You ever, you ever see a man with, I got a hair trigger. You ever see one fireman on the hose? See, here's the situation, all right, I pull up to Oprah's house, right, I go to Oprah's house, right, and I proceed to fuck Oprah. <laughs> but she's saying all this kind of dirty shit to me, I'm like, what kind of, this is all, I'm like, Oprah, I didn't know you were such a freak, right? <laughs> I'm hitting Oprah from the back, it's pow, 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 pow. She looks back at me and says, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours! <laughs> Goddamn right. Oprah, this pussy's mine. And she looked at me and she said, Corey Perry, I want you to reach in my booty hole. I got something for you. <laughs> and I was like, who am I to deny Oprah? So I dropped my finger on Oprah's booty hole. Right? So I'm sitting there and she said, pull it out! Pull out a set of keys to a 2007 party I got. I was like, I got it! I knew it was a steal because it only had 75,000 miles on that. She's like, God damn, oh, bro, I fuck with you with this damn trip. I fuck with you with this damn trip. Oh, some more shit I don't like. Taking a dump and thinking afterwards, that could have gone better. <laughs> Let me set the scene for you guys, right? So, I was taking a dump. Right, I was taking it up, I pulled out my phone, I found that Prince died. Hear me, hear me cries and farts at the same time. <laughs> it's literally the saddest shit I've ever taken in my entire life. There's a different definition of purple rain. <laughs> Dude, you couldn't have gone better. <laughs> Guys, like, we friends, right? We friends? I feel like y'all friends, we friends, right? I can tell you, I went on a date recently. Yeah. It was a Fuego. I met this lady on the Tinders. Yeah, I did. No, no, I did. No, fuck with me. I did. I'm not shallow, I do it. Right? So her name was Rebecca. She was 34. And uh, her interests were uh, 69 and jazz. <laughs> So of course I had to give her their own super line. Straight up, you know, only get one of those a day, so I had to make a count. <laughs> and we hit it off too, man. We hit it off and we go out and we go for, for dinner and we go dancing afterwards, right? We hit it off so good, I ended up back in her place, right? We're smoking a little bit, she puts off some jazz. And I'm like, I'm into that. <laughs> I'm into that. Let's do that. And, you know, she wishes by my, wish, wish my hair, oh, oh, would you like a 69 now, please? <laughs> so we cut the conversation short because I'm miles and full. I was under there. You heard that, yeah. I was under there too, man. I was looking at that cat. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Must have been good to her because she relaxed a little bit too much and she pooed a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's past gas. Yeah, like, I wasn't worried, because like, I remember in size class, heat rising. <laughs> wasn't concerned. <laughs> right, somebody did just steal. <laughs> nap, nap, all that shit, right? That's how I saw I know I'm on some pussy, okay, there, I said it. <laughs> and she poops again, I'm like, okay. 
Now I'm starting to get concerned. Do you need to go run some laps or something? Do you go to some jumping jacks in the yard? And she's like, no, I'm cool. It's okay, cool. We keep going. I was like, all right, now. Okay. Man, so I'm gonna put this shit in the overdrive. I'm sucking on the clicks. <laughs> then she proceeds to doo-doo a little bit on my forehead. Hey, just right here. Right there. My penis fainted, y'all. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I looked at her dead in her eye and I asked her, do you think that could have gone better? <laughs> More of that story is, just because someone's into jazz could also mean that you're into scat.